Hello, my lovelies. As promised, and I'm sorry it's late, we just got back from a birthday party. I am going to do an unboxing video of our Snack Crate box. Now, Snack Crate is a monthly subscription, and currently we are doing the $14 a month box, which is more than enough for my husband and I to share. And they take out every month, around the beginning of the month, $14, and then they ship your crate around the mid to end of the month. And it arrives at your doorstep. You don't have to do anything. Just let them take the money out and then wait for your box to arrive. And it gets shipped straight to your door, full of all kinds of around-the-world goodies. And this month, which we've been doing this for oh, quite some time, this month we got Ireland. Isn't that pretty? I love the picture. I'm currently happy to film in my bedroom because... Well, it being so late, the family's home, and it's just chaos in there. And I knew there was no way I could do a video, and you hear me, and it be of any sort of decent quality, especially since I'm still using my phone. Income ta tax time hasn't come yet. So, without further ado, I'm going to show you each item that I received, or we received, from our $14 Snack Crate box and give a description because not only do they send you these fabulous snacks but in the country description there are or country booklet the booklet of what country you got there are all these descriptions of the snacks you received which I think is rather helpful because who wouldn't want to know what they're eating right so, the first thing we have here, I'm excited, can you tell? <laughs> Tato Craft Vintage Irish Cheddar and Onion Flavor. Ooh. And then what does, and it's a pretty big bag too. These aren't tiny little bags. Tato cheddar and onion crisps. Crunchy Irish potatoes are flavored with zesty vintage cheddar cheese and onion flavor. Seriously addictive. That sounds good. I got a feeling my husband's going to love that. Now the next thing we have is... Tato Mimi's. Why are they called meanies? I have no clue. Let's find out, shall we? Tato Mega Meanies. Is it a Mega Meanies? It just says Tato Meanies. Any more? No. Okay, anyway. Tato Meanies. Same thing, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Sorry, I just wanted to make sure I was giving you the right information and then not come back later and be like, oh, I was wrong. Okay. <laughs> Tato Meanies, and I keep skipping the page. There we go. Found it. Okay. It took me a second there. These crunchy puffed corn snacks are dusted with a mean pickled onion flavor. Too good to resist. Ooh, that, I don't know. That doesn't sound too Hey, you know what? Don't knock it till you tried it. Cadbury snack. 
Now, I noticed that this is Cadbury snack, and this is also Cadbury snack. They're just two different shapes, but it looks like they're basically maybe the same thing or something of the same thing. I'm not sure. Snack bar. The classic Cadbury treat. Either enjoy the buttery shortcake biscuit squares or the original chocolate sandwich version. Neither will disappoint. So it looks like they sent us both, which is pretty awesome. They didn't have to do that. That's pretty nice. Elite Chocolate Kimberly. That's an odd name. Elite Chocolate Kimberly. These sweet cookies are topped with marshmallow and dipped in rice milk. Oh, wow. They're also dipped in rich milk chocolate. So, rice milk and then chocolate. Oh, wow. That's, that's different. I've never had rice milk. Okay. Um... Extreme Chew It Sour Apple Chews. Chew It's Extreme. These chews start out extremely tart and finish with delightfully sweet flavor. We included our Sour Apple or Tutti Fruity. We got Sour Apple. Awesome. I love apple. Even Sour Apple. And then they always throw in a few candies. And these are... Glucose Barley's. And it says, Oatfield Hard Candy. These tasty hard candies make for the perfect after-dinner treat. Enjoy either Glucose Barley or Chocolate Orange flavors. We got the Glucose Barley. So, I'm really excited about these snacks. Everything we've got from Snack Crate has always been of high quality and they also send stickers that have to do with the country and they also include fun facts on the booklet about the country itself <clears throat> such as the, the United States White House was designed by an Irishman that won a contest in 1792 allowing him to create the building did not know that and more Guinness is sold in Nigeria than in Ireland annually. Okay. Why? <laughs> I don't know. Okay. The Irish report the lowest annual number of UFO sightings in Europe. Again, I don't know. These are just fun facts. An Irish birthday tradition is to lift the birthday child upside down and give his head a few gentle bumps on the floor for good luck I, no <laughs> just no and uh, only about nine percent of people in ireland have natural red hair contrary to popular belief no i can see that yeah i can kind of see that because i mean red hair is really a recessive gene it's not a dominant gene so, just to believe that there's a country out there full of red-headed people, it's kind of, you know, I know it's, um, you know, kind of the norm that when you think of an Irish person, you think of this pale-skinned, freckle-faced, red-headed person who drinks a lot and has a short temper, but honestly, you know, I don't think that's the, I don't think that's the facts of things. Um... Ireland is some place that I would always love to visit. Uh, maybe one day with my husband and my children. And at least see their beautiful countryside. And maybe even drink an ale. And I don't know. Try some of the, some of the um, local custom foods. I think it would be quite an experience. To see how the Irish people live. And to just embrace that culture for a little while and for once just be a part of something different than what we're used to 
I am, you know, open-minded to different things. And just the thought of being to ex- of being able to experience somebody else's culture, it's just, I don't know, it just it intrigues me so much. Because there are things that we do as United States citizens that would probably boggle the minds of some people in Irish, of Irish descent, or who live in Ireland. And I'm sure there's some things that they do that would completely just culture shock us because it's like two different worlds. So that's something I would definitely love to do. I know my husband has expressed a desire to go to Ireland once in his life. And I think it's a, I think it's a beautiful goal, but I hope you enjoyed this. Um, it was probably a little sketchy right now because I haven't gotten the hang of it, but the more I practice, the better I'll get. You know what they say, practice makes perfect. And after the income tax time, I plan to get a camera. I keep saying that. I hope to make it, you know, a true thing. If not, then those of you who have been loyal to me, I hope you continue to be loyal. And I hope to make many fun videos in the future. Many more unboxings, many countries to explore. I would love a box from Turkey. I was saying that yesterday. I would love some Turkish snacks. So um, much love to all my friends in the U.S. and all my friends in Ireland. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.